cocktails with the queens. All right, ladies, let's get right back into the hot topics. Now, we don't have the video, but during a recent interview with Fat Joe, Wendy Williams said her show will be back on in the fall and she will not watch Sherry Shepard's new talk show. Well, Sherry seemingly responded to Wendy's comments. Let's take a look. She's going through a lot. I would say that everybody should be praying for Wendy right now. I'm very concerned. I'm really, truly concerned about her. Ladies, what are your thoughts on Wendy returning to her television show in her comment about not watching uh, Sherry's new talk show? Uh, Vivica, let's start with you. Well, you know, the one thing about uh, a camera and when you record something or you're talking, what a camera doesn't lie, does it? And I agree with Sherry when she said she doesn't look well. Um, she was rambling. She's a little bit all over the place. Um, and I get some habits are hard to change. Um, and so what I saw Wendy when I watched the video myself was that she was in her old wheelhouse of just throwing daggers and stuff like that. And Sherry Shepard doesn't deserve that. Sherry has been so kind and so gracious that the network not only gave Sherry, but a lot of other people an opportunity to come in and co-host the show because Wendy wasn't well, her health, and she had a lot of things that she was going through. So Sherry Shepard's statement saying she's not well and she's going through a lot, I found that to be very gracious and ladylike, and we need more answers like that. She could have dug back and been like, you know, cut her left and right with all the stuff she got going on, karma, this, that, and the third. But she didn't. She handled that very graciously. And if there's one message I could send to Wendy, if you want to come back, sweetheart, you got to get a little bit of grace and humbleness to you. Coming back like that, that was a turnoff to me. Well, let me I, I, let me add the opposite uh, to this, the devil's advocate, um, because Sherry is definitely a, a friend of mine as as well, you know, and I support her wholeheartedly, and she's doing a great job. And so, for her to be a black woman that have stepped in, stepped out, and got her own thing, kudos to her. However, if you have been the queen of talk show for so long, and your messy you know, uh, uh, what is her quotes that she be saying, you know, her messy whatever that she says becomes your business now. You will have to roll with the punches. So when you get replaced, are you really going to be happy for that person? Or are you really going to be sad at and like, even though it might be your fault, it might be your audience fault that just said, the hell with you, I'm going to keep moving, I'm going to go support somebody else, whatever that is. Aren't you going to feel a little something, something for that person, even if you're like, oh, I'm wrong, but damn. I mean, I, you can feel a little I mean, I mean no, I, you, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I'll go last. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I do. I was just going to respond to Lisa Ray. I mean, you can feel a little something, something, and, you know, that's nice that you're honest, but do you always have to tell everybody that you feel a little something, something? But um, that's what I, she is, remember. But it ain't, but sometimes you, you got to chill. And, you know, I, I, I'm sick of people that, well, this is who I am. So this how you got to deal with that. I don't think that's fair. Just because you say this how you are doesn't mean that you get to infringe that upon others all the time. She's been doing that for years, though. I don't that's, care. That's at some point, we got to evolve. We got to evolve, you. and we got to change at some point. I echo pretty much everything that Vivica just said, and I think it's unfortunate that you know she would voice that opinion, knowing that it's not Sherry's fault that she was given that show. You know that that's not her fault. So to say that is mean, that's just mean. And at least they gave another black woman an opportunity. So that right there should have been, you know, you could have gave her, showed her a little love. I don't think it's right. And, and can I add this in there too? A perfect way for her to come back if she wants to prove to the network, I can maintain a show again. Would have been to come and go, yo, Sherry, do your thing. Come on there. Come out looking good. I'm coming too. Uh, come, you know what I mean? And I'm back and I right. wish luck. And then, you know what I mean? Because you got to make sure that you show people that you're stable. You, you, you have to admit toward the end, there's a reason why the network took away. The network's not going to take away their cash cow. They're not stupid. That's it. I, I'm going to say this. I, I feel what you're saying. I also do agree with you, Lisa Ray, because I try to put myself in Wendy's position. 
And if she's not well, she's probably not going to be thinking the most rationally, right? So if she's not well, she you can't expect her to be like, yeah, girl, yes, get it. If I'm not well and I see someone taking what I feel like I built, I see, I'm just saying, if she's not in a, listen, ladies, she ain't where we are right now. If she's not, if she snatched off her show, like you said, we have a good cash cow, something's wrong with her, right? So I just don't expect the bar to be very high for her to be thinking as clearly as she probably should. I wouldn't be at happy. Point, if but at what point do you evolve as a woman? If you're and, sick, you're not evolving. But at what point do you evolve as a woman and take responsibility for your action? There's a reason why your show was taken from you. Right, but sick people, but just like me. Of you being sick, because that's like you being mad about something and you catching yourself saying, oh, I, you don't do that. You well, guys, and then you go, let me reflect, and then you come back. We didn't I give think- Kanye that same grace. And Kanye was sick as well. And you could we could have argued that he was sick as well. You know what I'm saying? So at yeah. some point, and, and you know yeah. what had to happen? No, we didn't give him that same grace. We did not. And you know what Ooh, had to happen? A lot happen? of people someone, did though. Someone, I tried to, but someone had to, someone had to say, look here, man. And I think it was his new girlfriend. You're going to have to be quiet. And that's exactly what he did. He went on into hiding and shut on up. So who is in Wendy's group and campaign and who are the people around her that say, hey, girl, listen, I feel what you're saying and we love you. And listen, we all love Wendy Williams. Don't get it twisted. I love Wendy Williams. Did you think she's being rude, though? She said she she did say and I think a lot of times with these stories, we get the headlines. Right. She said, I like Sherry, but I won't be watching the show and I can understand why you wouldn't want to watch your replacement because it probably hurts. I didn't see it. Listen, if she says. I like Sherry, but I won't be watching the show because X, Y, X, Y, Z, that probably would have made more sense. But you know how the world is going to do. They're going to yeah. take whatever you say and they're going to go, exactly. you know, they're going to go where they need to go. You know what I'm saying? And so at some she point. She did more of the shock value shock job. That's so did, so did she do that on that. purpose? So then did she do it on purpose to say that? We talking mm-hmm. about it. So it might be just what she wanted. You know what well, I mean? It, exactly. So I, I feel bad. I think Sherry is in a no win situation because of how it all went down. There's going to be Wendy fans going to feel they're going to blame her, although it is not her fault. Of course, anyone would take that opportunity. Anyone yeah, would what take she that supposed to say? No, she's supposed to say, and, no, and then, never mind. I don't want it. Right, right. So it was like it was a it was a tough position to put Sherry Shepard in. I wish it could have been a different way where they just said, hey, let's roll up the Sherry Shepard show, regardless of Wendy, whatever she's doing. But you know, it worked out this way. It, it's a tough. Just like we know, just like we know, was for you is for you. Mm-hmm. So this was hand, it wasn't handed to her. She was in proper position to be able to receive what was hers. And so I don't believe in luck, but I say do your thing, and I'll be watching. And I honestly think that Sherry, that in the future going forward. Uh, whatever statements or whatever is issued, Sherry, con- concentrate on you and this wonderful opportunity that is about to come your way, that you will have time. You were a co-host on The View, that now you have your own show. Enjoy yeah. those moments. You don't have to go back and forth. And, do you, girl? Do you? Right. And and that's not, that someone's going to find a problem with anything that and either one of them says. You're right. Yeah. That's they're going to find something. They're going to make it a thing, even if it's not a thing. Yeah. It's a thing now, right? All right, ladies, great conversation. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with our last segment of Cocktails with the Queens. We'll see you in a minute. 